Let's finish my plasma cutter. It has a working envelope of 13 by 38 inches. Actually, in practicality, it's probably one foot by three foot, so 12 by 36 inches. It uses this rack of, uh, this gear rack to drive it. And there's a, uh, I think it's 11 tooth uh, gear tied to a 24 volt servo motor. The servo motor has 600 CPS encoder, magnetic encoder. Um, uh, it uses these uh, one inch bearings by three eighths bearings. And this whole thing's made out of stainless except for the racks, they're uh, carbon steel. Um, the stainless is one, or uh, rather two by two 16 gauge. And let's see. The only part I actually purchased was these uh, brackets that have to be welded together. Everything else I had to source myself. The brackets, I believe, were 120 bucks. You have to weld them together yourself. Or you can buy the, the whole kit from the guy, and I forget how much they wanted, like 600, 700 bucks for it, uh, without any tubing. Um, the guy who sells this on eBay is called Precision Plasma. So here's this this motion. I used these uh, weld uh, weld nut plates. They're actually from 8020 Incorporated. They use them in their 8020. So there's three of the brackets. The kit comes with three brackets. And that's about it. The next video I hope to post will have this uh, moving under its own power. I had the motors left over from when I converted my milling machine to CNC. Uh, I removed those because they didn't have enough holding torque. So I put um, stepper motors and uh, actually increased the resolution as well because the uh, controller I use is a uh, G540 Gecko drive, and uh, it divides the 200 uh, steps per revolution in by 10, uh, so you get 2,000 steps per revolution. And let's see, these are like I said, 660 CPS encoders. So um, I'm going to gain a lot of speed in the uh, rapids. But I'm going to lose a little resolution. Um, if I can't live with that, I'll gear them down using uh, belt reductions. I think they're going to be fine, though, for what I do. All right, bye.